Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem 362. In this problem it is said that a uniform steel plate 360 mm square with a mass of 15 kg is suspended in the horizontal plane by three vertical wires as shown and we are required to calculate the tension in each wire. Right? So let's say that the tension in this cable is let's say this is TA and let's say the tension in this cable is TB and let's say the tension in this cable is TC right and first of all we will define our coordinate system right so let's say that this is my x-axis is right and let's say that this is our y-axis is and then according to the right hand rule the z-axis should be acting in the in this direction right so this is our z axis is right so now if we find the moment the summation of moment about the x axis is equals to zero and if we use the inspection method right if we uh, observe all these three forces from this direction right right so then as we can see that this t a is producing the moment about this x axis is in this direction right this T A is producing the moment like this and if we curl our right hand finger so the thumb will point out in the positive x direction right. So this means that T A is producing the counterclockwise moment right. So we will write that the moment produced by this T A will be equal to T A multiplied by the perpendicular distance from the x axis. So this 120 mm is the perpendicular distance of this T A. So we will multiply this with 120. So I will write 120 T A and this is plus right since the the thumb is pointing out in the positive x direction and we have to draw that weight so that weight will be acting in the geometric center of this plate right so let me draw that weight as well so that weight will be acting at exactly the center of this square right so the distance of this weight from this edge from the y axis will be one uh, the whole length is 360 right so this length will be 180 and similarly this length will also be 180 mm right and this is that weight and this weight is th uh, 15 into 9.81 right so now if you look into this weight from this direction so then this weight is producing the moment in the in this direction right if we represent that and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative x direction right so i will write minus and this will be weight and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the x-axis is 180 mm right so I will write 180 into 15 into 9.81 right so we will write it like this and similarly if we observe this TC tension from this direction so it is reducing the moment about the x-axis in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x direction so we will write plus and the perpendicular distance of this TC from that x axis is, is 360 mm, right? So this is 120 plus 240. So we will write 360 TC and this will be equal to 0, right? So we can write it like this. So this will be 120 TA plus 360 TC equals to 180 into 15 into 9.81. And if we divide this whole equation by 120, so then this will be 120 okay when we simplify this equation so let's say that this is equation a right and now if we uh, add or if we find the summation of moment about the y axis is equal to 0 so then for this we have to observe these forces from this direction right so now as we can see that this tc is producing the moment about y axis is in this direction right and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction right so we will write minus and the perpendicular distance of this tc from that y axis is 180 right so i will write 180 tc and again this ta is producing the moment <laughs> in the same direction right so you can write that this is again minus and the perpendicular distance of this ta from that y axis is, is 180 plus 180 so this is 360 right so you will write 360 ta 
and similarly this weight is producing the moment in the opposite direction right the weight is producing the moment like this and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction so we will write plus and the perpendicular distance of this weight from the y axis is again 180 so i will write 180 into 15 into 9.81 and this will be equal to 0 now if we divide this whole equation by ta and let me write this on the other side of equation right so this will be minus equal to minus 180 right and now if i divide this whole equation by 360 degree uh, by 360 right so we will write this is minus 180 divided by 360 tc and this will be minus ta 360 divided by 360 is 1 right so i will write minus 180 into 15 into 9.81 divided by 360 now from this we get this equation right so let's say that this is equation b right and now if we add equation a with b or b with a right so let me write that equation a here right so this is our equation a so we have 3 tc right so we will write tc term beneath this tc term right and that ta so this is plus ta and this equals to 220.73 and if we add both of these so this will cancel out right so this will be plus 2.5 tc equals to 147.15 and this tc will be equal to 147.15 divided by 2.5 so from this tc force the tension in that cable c equals to 58.86 newtons now we can use either equation a or equation b to find ta so let's say that i use this equation a right so from equation a we can write that ta equals to 220.73 minus 3 tc right so i will write minus 3 and tc is 58.86 now when we solve this so ta is 44.15 newtons right so ta is 44.15 newtons right and to find tb we have to apply the summation of forces along z-axis is equal to zero right so as we can see that all these three tensions in this these three wires is acting in the positive z direction right so we will write ta plus tb plus tc minus the weight is acting in the negative z direction so you will write minus and this will be 15 into 9.81 and this will be equal to zero so now since we know ta and tc so we can put those values right so ta is 44.15 tc is 58.86 right so we can find this tb so tb will be equal to 15 into 9.81 minus 58.86 minus 44.15 now from this equation tb equals to 44.14 newtons right so this is ta tb and this is tc right so this is the solution of this particular problem